Hello, and welcome back to Coin Lady Channel. XRP holders were correct. An assault on cryptocurrency and XRP holders in particular has been launched by the SEC. And you might remember that Charles Hoskinson, founder of Cardano, stated a little over a year ago that XRP holders are reporting on things. Do you recall everything that happened when we were fabricating a massive plot? Yesterday, Charles Hoskinson had a very outburst. Also, I want you to know that I understand. The majority of his tirade was correct, and I agree with him, he was understandably agitated and furious about it. The things he's griping about are really rich, though. Recall that a year ago, he opposed our efforts to unite by asserting that the XRP community was involved in a grand conspiracy, a claim that was patently false, and you should remember that. Not us. I mean, it's perfect. He spoke. Oh no. He completely bungled that. Then there was the fact that he was unwilling to accept defeat. Just so we're clear, I am not receiving any sort of financial support before we continue. My advice has nothing to do with money. Absolutely, without a doubt, do not let anything I say influence your purchasing or selling decisions. As a hobby and for fun, I enjoy making videos on YouTube about crypto-related subjects, I'm just an enthusiast. For the sake of brevity, I will not go into detail about what transpired more than a year ago. I just want to be sure that it's still fresh in your thoughts. Can you tell me what was said to trigger this? Reason being, instead of Charles Hoskinson, the interviewer, a question came from Tony, who is in charge of the Thinking Crypto YouTube channel. Here is Tony's interview response to Charles Hoskinson. Prior to this past year. Now that we're talking about different topics, I wanted to ask you about the current state of the crypto market and the actions taken by the SEC regarding crypto regulations. What are your thoughts on this? Ethereum, the recent Kim Kardashian public relations gimmick, the SEC slash Ripple lawsuit, the judge's opinions on the matter, and so on are all sources of dissatisfaction. Other topics include Gary Gensler. What follows is Charles's response, in which he partially stated, yeah, well, there are XRP community members who are attempting to fabricate this massive plot, involving over corruption between Ethereum and SEC insiders. Are you sure about what, precisely? Can you confirm this for me? And it's absolutely captivating because, aside from what I'm about to reveal, there was this quote from Charles Hoskinson in which he unleashed a fairly epic tirade. In addition, he has included a screenshot so you can see it clearly. According to what XRP community member Mr. Huber quoted Charles Hoskinson as saying, the founders of Ethereum swayed the SEC with their connections and, perhaps, financial backing. I would say yes. Favoritism, not corruption, though. It's true, everyone. According to him, favoritism, not corruption, is what happens when people use their connections, and perhaps even money, to influence the SEC. The one minor snag is that words do, in fact, have meanings. In answer to that post on X, I've included the three parts of the definition of corruption that can be found in the Merriam-Webster dictionary below, a. Unethical or unlawful actions typically perpetrated by those in positions of authority, such as members of the police force or government officials once again, it's not necessary for it to involve the government, officials from the government, or police officers. However, that is not the case here. I thought it was the SEC. B. Inducement to wrong by improper or unlawful means such as bribery. Realize that things that deviate from the original or from purity are accurate. There you have it, folks, corruption in its purest form. This quotation from him continues to define corruption, it should now be visible on your screen again. But he insists that it's bias. I think you have it nailed, Charles. It exemplifies corruption in its purest form. Consequently, this tirade was shared. Altcoin Daily posted a video of it in which Charles Hoskinson criticizes Bitcoin and SEC for getting away with it while Cardano and Crypto take a beating. As I am the one doing the transcribing, I will therefore share it with you. I will tell you a little bit about this and the part I'm about to tell you. All things considered, I believe I can agree with it. 
What has been creating a stir, then, is this, this is what Charles Hoskinson had to say. There must be millions, if not millions upon millions, of people who have seen this by now. 1.3 million people have seen it in its entirety, thanks to Altcoin Daily alone, and that doesn't even account for the people who have shared it. Take a look at this, from Charles Hoskinson, after that, they claim it's a security. Alright, so what exactly is that? In a decentralized system, no? By what means is Bitcoin registered? Oh no, that's wrong. If you must differentiate between Bitcoin, Ethereum and Cardano, then tell me. What happens in subsequent rounds? Run the goddamn Howie test on it and explain it to me like I'm five years old. And prove to me that they are distinct from one another. Please explain to me, would you dare to come back with that godawful orange pill? Moonboys were there. He was certainly a raging bull, but justifiably so. I am in his camp. I really hope he understood what we were trying to convey all those months or even years ago. Plus, there is no massive plot at play here. I'm not claiming that the evildoers intended to eliminate Ripple in any way. I showed you a quote from Tony at Thinking Crypto, and he basically listed a bunch of things and said, hey, here are some things you can talk about, which is actually completely unrelated to the question. After that, Charles Hoskinson claimed that XRP investors were hatching a massive plot. However, the reality is that it's quite difficult to locate members of our community who are openly asserting that there was a conspiracy to bring down XRP, rather, it seems more like there was simply corrupt behavior. Yeah, there was some blatant corruption that benefited ETH at the expense of everyone else. Additionally, separate from that, XRP holders were also targeted in an attack. That is the appearance it takes on. In my opinion, there isn't a plot afoot here. I mean, isn't that what transpired? As for the remainder of his quote, here it is. Following his discussion of the orange pill moon boys, he proceeded to the fact that it exists, though, is why I adore it so much. Plus, there are a plethora of perspectives from which to examine this matter. The hash power mechanism allows for a 51% attack on Bitcoin, which can be achieved by subpoenaing and attacking three separate entities. However, it appears to be decentralized, and Team Orange is given full credit. What a pitiful joke. It is the most pitiful joke ever. And, you know, it would be funny if the industry and the Lewis court haven't wasted hundreds of millions of dollars on this pointless legal battle that has already begun and will likely continue. There will be no more apologies, eventually, it will end. We can skip over the money coming in and go straight to the quote. Yeah, you're absolutely right. It could have been a moon Lamborghini rant, or I could have brought up the topic of toxic Bitcoin maxi trolls, but either way, it wasn't wasted. I agree with him that this will eventually run its course and cause damage, I've said it before and I'll say it again. The status quo will have been supported to some extent, and the incumbents can take advantage of this by entering the crypto market. Yes, it's conjecture, but even if it wasn't intentional, that's the end outcome. Look, we could debate the question of whether it's intentional or not. However, that is the current situation. The lawsuits will cease altogether at some point. Everything will be resolved. As he said, there will be no apologies, and the $150 million or so that was taken doesn't even come close to returning to them. It vanished into thin air. It's pure and simple. In light of this, this is the response that attorney John Dean offered. Maxis is the only one that will challenge Charles Hoskinson's outrage. It is difficult for me to fathom how someone could not rationally comprehend the aggravation. The U.S. securities laws should be uniform and applied in a consistent manner throughout all ecosystems. Several maxis have responded to Charles's video by reiterating their previous claims regarding XRP. Here's a thread I made that those who insist on labeling software code as a security flaw failed to appreciate. It echoes arguments that a federal judge in the Southern District of New York rejected. Plus, I won't go into detail, because I'm not a forensics expert. There was a serious danger that was addressed during that period. It was in April. But yeah, you're absolutely right, Deaton. In a word, yes. 
Crypto Insight UK has an article that I found interesting. Charles couldn't be more correct on this point. This announcement ought to have been made three years ago, when XRP was being targeted. They appear to be putting too much emphasis on their own chain in this area. Ripple and XRP are great, regardless of your opinion. Because of their success in dealing with the SEC, everyone else is finding this much easier. There is an unfair advantage for Bitcoin and ETH. Particularly targeted was XRP. This is a fact. I agree. Once again, it's precise. Along with his remarks in that area. For that reason, the community was furious a year ago. It's not a vast plot, he's absolutely correct. That is the truth. Indeed, that is the truth. Suppose, for the sake of argument, that the Ethereum folks in the SEC are plotting to depose Ripple and XRP. You start to suspect a plot when you realize there isn't any evidence to support it. But I'm not saying that anybody else is saying that. Plus, that wasn't even the original request. I will attempt to stay on topic because that is not the question that Charles Hoskinson was asked and he continued later. This really annoys me. However, Charles Hoskinson asserts that he was asked that very thing, even though it was not. And that's why I had this entire thread, which I won't tell you about, so in the video I'm not playing around with this thing where I wrote to Charles Hoskinson, and it was seen by a fair number of people. I took the time to explain it in full context, highlighting and transcribing everything, so that it would not be taken out of context. His claims to the contrary are completely unfounded. People were upset about that. So many people in the community became his enemies because of him, for that reason, I can understand and sympathize with the post that Mr. Huber made in response to the video you posted. Charles, I apologize. However, you spared no effort over the course of two years in an effort to publicly shame the XRP community and make us look foolish. Even though you said you were willing to talk peace, you then suddenly started calling us conspiracy theorists again. Observe now. Every year seems to bring its own set of surprises, doesn't it? And, well, I guess I should have brought this up sooner. Nonetheless, I believe the vast majority of you are aware of it. It has been a table-setting thing, that's what. But Cardano is being referred to as a security by the SEC. So, I have no idea if there's a new assault? Perhaps he received a Wells notice and we are unaware of it. Perhaps that explains his fiery personality. So, I'm not sure anymore. Thus, it is possible that the SEC will launch an assault against him directly. Right now, all we know is that the SEC is naming Cardano and other cryptocurrencies in lawsuits against Coinbase and others. However, I simply agree with the things he is arguing for here, otherwise, I'm no different from anyone else. Looking back on his actions from a year ago, I find them disgusting. Who is this guy on that subject? He lied about what was happening, claimed he was asked a question he wasn't, and then labeled this person a conspiracy theorist. We are a massive community with millions of members, so maybe you could find some friends. However, XRP does not feel that way. It was the same old stuff when you looked at all the people who responded to him a year ago. That is not our intention. Everything was the same, so we weren't removed from the content. And he simply would not budge. He flat out denied that he was mistaken. People are angry because of that. So, now that he's making these claims, I can see why this has some locals in our community worried. Now I get it. Last but not least, the crypto community must unite. However, after hearing what he had to say and seeing the videos that went viral, I can't say that I blame anyone for how he portrayed us. No one is to blame if they wish to make a note of that. That was definitely there saying, hey, here's a piece of history, is perfectly acceptable. It was awful and not grounded in reality, but Charles Hoskinson did it anyhow. Saying that is acceptable. I don't care how the story turns out, what matters is that we stood united and refused to give in to the SEC's bullshit. With that, I'm perfectly fine. So, I'd like to hear your thoughts on this. 
however, that is the essence of what I understood. Money advisors are not my specialty. My opinion should not influence your purchasing or selling decisions. And please like and subscribe my channel. See you later, bye.